In the world of espionage, danger, and suave sophistication, James Bond has become the ultimate symbol of cool. But let's not forget the women who've shared the screen with him, each leaving an indelible mark on the world's most famous spy saga. Today, we're shining the spotlight on these remarkable Bond girls. Get ready to revisit some of the most captivating figures in the Bond universe. Let's start with Honor Blackman as Pussy Galore and Goldfinger. With her judo throws and commanding presence, she was more than just a pretty face. Blackman's portrayal was that of a woman who could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bond, a leader of an all-female pilot squad, and a character with her own moral compass. She was a game-changer in the early days of the franchise, setting the stage for the strong, complex women who would follow. Next, we turn to the mystical solitaire, played by the ethereal Jane Seymour in Live and Let Die. Solitaire's psychic abilities and her youthful innocence brought a supernatural element to the series. Seymour's performance was enchanting, and her character's development, from a sheltered seer to a woman taking control of her destiny, was both captivating and inspiring. Fast forward to the 21st century, and we encounter the enigmatic Vesper Lind, portrayed by Eva Green in Casino Royale. With Green's smoldering performance, Vesper is intelligent, enigmatic, and complex. Her chemistry with Bond is electric, and her tragic end adds layers to 007's character, making her one of the most memorable and influential Bond girls. Sophie Marceau as Electra King brought an unparalleled depth to The World Is Not Enough. Marceau's portrayal of Electra was that of a woman scarred by her past but driven by ambition and power. Her transition from victim to villain was both shocking and mesmerizing, adding a psychological edge to the film and challenging Bond's own perceptions of right and wrong. Halle Berry's Jinx and Die Another Day was a force to be reckoned with. Berry's Oscar-winning talent brought a new level of badassery to the franchise. Her Jinx was a fearless NSA agent, equal in skill and wit to 007. Her iconic emergence from the sea was a nod to the past, but her character was very much a hero of the new millennium. Monica Bellucci's brief but impactful appearance as Lucia Chiara in Spectre was a momentous occasion. As the oldest actress to play a Bond girl, Bellucci brought elegance, maturity, and a hauntingly tragic beauty to the role. Her performance was a testament to the enduring allure of the Bond girl, no matter the age. Isabella Skorupko, as Natalia Simonova in Goldeneye, redefined the role for the digital age. A computer programmer with a strong will to survive, Skorupko's Natalia was both brainy and brave, a woman who didn't need to rely on Bond to save her. Her character was a sign of the times, ushering in a new era for women in the Bond universe. Miriam Debo's portrayal of Kara Milivy in The Living Daylights was a return to innocence for the Bond girls. Debo's Kara was sweet, musically gifted, and refreshingly down to earth. Her relationship with Bond was built on mutual respect and affection, and Debo's chemistry with Timothy Dalton was a highlight of the film. These women are the heart and soul of the Bond legacy each bringing something unique to the table, each leaving us with unforgettable moments. Now, it's your turn to weigh in. Who is your favorite Bond girl, and why does she stand out to you? Share your thoughts in the comments, and let's celebrate these incredible characters together.
Thanks for joining us on this journey through the captivating world of Bond Girls. If you've enjoyed this tribute, like, subscribe, and click the bell for more. Until next time, keep living life with a little bit of Bond flair.